Hey folks, just Mr. Sabori here. Now that we're in December, well, December 4th of this year, almost getting ready for the new year, so we, so this whole entire horrible year is finally going to be over. But don't press your luck here. I'm finally going to do a holiday special review, and it's going to be, what else? A Peanuts uh, special. Before I get to that, I just want to show you uh, that I actually got all these uh, holiday canisters that are Peanuts related, such as this one, which you have uh, Snoopy as a World War One flying ace joining in with Woodstock and his friends. You know, I guess you know taking over for Santa, so they can send out all the presents to all the little kids around <laughs> for the holidays. And yeah, this is the holiday sugar cookies, but it's all been eaten by me. I know. But hey, I love these cookies. And it just comes with a button um, that you can hear. lights shining and all. They look cute. And I also got this <laughs> from uh, the Whitman Sampler Chocolates. <laughs> it says Fa La La. That's where you see Charlie Brown, Sally, Lucy, and Snoopy. Uh, yeah, that's where you see uh, Charlie Brown along with Sally, Lucy, Linus, and of course, Snoopy just howling around. <laughs> Simply called, I Want a Dog for Christmas, Charlie Brown. Which aired originally on December 9th, 2003 on ABC. Which focuses on the character of Rerun. Which happens to be Linus and Lucy's um, younger brother where he actually wants a dog for Christmas, which I, at that parade it would be, well, Spike. <laughs> it's actually uh, focusing on the combination of all of uh, Charles M. Schultz's comic strips, and this is actually one of the, the specials that's produced after his death in 2000. So, when I first saw this special, I was very excited because at least after his following death, that now we we're going to get some more specials uh, that will that'll pay a tribute to him and hoping that there will be others out there who's going to work on it. Because we did have a Charlie Brown Valentine special to air on ABC, you know, since we already had the, the first Valentine special. So they figured they want to have a continuation, and, and I was really excited about this. And this is, of course, the first Christmas special to actually go on for an hour, which at this rate, without commercials, would be like 41 minutes, or maybe 42, even. Um, of course, you know, they actually had done an hour special before, mostly the musicals, uh, such as um, Your Good Man, Charlie Brown, and... Snoopy the Musical, uh, as well as It's an Adventure, Charlie Brown, um, a Charlie Brown celebration come to mind, so they have done some hour specials before in the past, but they just never done one for Christmas. Yeah. And I remember taping this, and I really enjoyed it so much, and it's great that they're focusing on their brother rerun, because... I don't think there hasn't been a special uh, focusing on him, and I'm glad they, they took the guts to do so. Okay. And sadly, it's not going to be rerun this year. I'm not even so sure PBS will ever pick it up, but it's also due to the fact that Apple TV Plus is going to carry all of the Peanuts library, as I mentioned in my um, announcement. Uh, a few weeks ago, and already a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving just aired, only aired once on PBS, 
I wish they had did a repeat. They could have done that during Thanksgiving. It would have been perfect for it, for those who actually didn't get a chance to see it. I mean, yeah, I mean, for those who want to watch it on broadcast TV. Um, but A Twilight Bone Christmas will be on on December 13th, though. So you'll still get a chance. Um, but if you miss it, then, well, there's nothing else you could do. But to just track down your physical copy of those specials and you'll watch it any time. So. But I, I do agree that PBS should really start repeating their the specials. I mean, it's just for those who actually want to to stream it online if they have to. But I, I prefer just watch it on broadcast. <laughs> but of course. <laughs> I'm just glad that I even have copies of, of these specials anyway. Uh, I also do have this on DVD too, uh, as part of the Peanuts Holiday Collection uh, that I got um, for Christmas a uh, long time ago, like back in 2015. So it's good to know that at least now I can watch that too as well. Anyway, but let's begin. It stars uh, Jimmy Bennett as rerun Van Pelt, Ashley Rose as Lucy Van Pelt, Corey uh, Padnos as Linus Van Pelt, Adam Taylor Gordon as Charlie Brown, Hannah Lee as Sally Brown, Nick Price as Schroeder, Jake uh, Miner as Pickman, along with Franklin Shermie, Caitlin. Uh, Maggio as the little pigtail girl, along with Violet and the girl with the red coat, and Bill Melendez as Snoopy, Spike, and Woodstock. Um, of course, they're joining in with Adora and Patty, but they um, remain silent. Um, it's written by Charles M. Schultz, of course, who had passed away in 2000. But this was part of uh, his comic strips, so this was a combination focusing on Rerun, who just wanted to have a dog for Christmas, but his parents won't let him. Not even the, his mom. So, of course, he ends up getting Spike, you know, just to take care of. <laughs> anyway, and it's directed by Larry uh, Leechlitter. Uh, also joining in with Bill Melendez. The special begins where we meet Rerun, you know, Linus and Lucy's younger brother, who we begin to experience um, pretty much all the difficulties that he's been having in his entire everyday life, such as riding on the back of his mother's bicycle. Yeah, just like how you saw on the Charlie Brown and Snoopy show, you know, where his mother is just practicing, you know, riding on the bike, you know, going to the local market or do all this other activities and everything. And, <laughs> of course, Rerun's already, you know, being frightened because of the way, you know, she's riding. And this is where he keeps uh, yelling at her, Look out for the truck! Look out for the fence! Look out for the dog! Look out for all the bumps and everything! <laughs> you know that. I mean, but no matter what she does, I mean, she's, she's going to keep on writing. Because <laughs> something goes wrong. Or especially when they're, when they're getting chased by a dog. <laughs> and then Rerun has to throw a shoe at him. Um, of course, you also saw a silhouette of, of his mom you know, riding on the bike. Um, but that's on the Charlie Brown Stupid Show. But anyway. Um, not only that, though, but he's also coping with his uh, crabby sister Lucy, of course, you know, talking about all these other problems here and there, and starting to annoy uh, her. Um, same goes with Linus, too, you know, already being embarrassed. And most of all, he's getting accused of harassment when he asked the little pigtail girl from his kindergarten class to actually go to Paris with him. All your typical everyday life with Rerun. But then, to make the up for him, he wishes that he had a dog. 
hoping that this will cheer him up. Just like how Charlie Brown, you know, had his dog when he had to cheer him up for all the troubles he was going on at the playground. But his mom refuses to get him one. He even begs her to actually get it, but nope. Never. But not having a dog on his own, he asked Charlie Brown several times that if he can play with Snoopy. And at first, Snoopy actually agreed. And then they both started playing around, um, happily together. Exactly how we wanted. But Snoopy seems to get very tired of reruns uh, games and, and suddenly just decided to just leave him. But Rerun had to ask Charlie Brown about if Snoopy actually has any brothers or sisters. And that's of course how we show it already with um, Belle, Marbles, Olaf, Andy, and even Spike. So at that rate, the Rerun thought maybe Spike would be perfect um, for him to actually have for a while. It might be a, an excellent pet to have. So Snoopy writes to Spike and asks him to visit um, from Needles, California, and Spike actually agrees. So at that rate, he finally makes a long trip all the way through uh, Charlie Brown's town. So now they get to visit, and actually, um, when he arrives, I mean, Lucy suddenly becomes very shocked to see how skinny he was. So she takes him to a nurse to get him back into health and ends up, you know, having to fatten him up with so much food. So that way, you know, he'll, he'll be able to stay fit and all. But after he recovers, Rerun's mom will not allow him to stay in their house any longer. And Charlie Brown tries to find a new home for Spike, but none of the other children would accept him. Spike has no other choice but to return back to his own home. And Rerun was already being sad to see him go, but having to cheer him up, Lucy decided to enter Rerun at the annual school Christmas pageant, but Rerun only has to recite one line, but he keeps forgetting. Just the, the moment that he needs to deliver. But of course, Lucy has to try her best to actually tell him those lines. Because if you don't, he's going to hit him. And that's where you know, he starts to memorize them really quick. Then uh, Rerun had asked Charlie Brown if Snoopy will pull him on the sled. And when Snoopy agrees, um, he came out and Rerun decided to find himself playing with Snoopy on his sled. And that's how everything just went um, exactly as smooth as possible. Which also leads to at the end of the special, which I guess it can throw in somewhat of a you know, breaking the fourth wall for Charlie Brown, but yes, you know, where he's in bed, and he's like saying to himself, sometimes I ask myself, when will it all end? And then a voice comes to me that says, right after the credits, and yes, the credits appeared. <laughs> well, unlike the ABC era, well, unlike uh, the DVD uh, release, I mean, if you watch the ABC airing, it cuts directly to a split screen credits. But you get the idea. <laughs> okay. Um, for a special to air back in the 2000s, I mean, this was um, a great idea. I mean, I always wanted to see a holiday special or any other special that features a rerun. Because, you know, with all the, all the, the peanuts getting around here and there that we get, I mean, of course, with Charlie Brown, Snoopy, Linus, Lucy, Schroeder, and Pepper and Patty, Marcy, and, and all the rest of the game, it's always nice to see what Rerun really has um, in mind, you know, where he has his own experience. And he's a very cute brother to have. I mean, he almost looks a little bit like Linus. And it really shows, you know, that no matter what we 
we can, I mean, it also shows that, you know, he really cares, and, you know, he does everything that pretty much everyone has done at their times. But, of course, he can get into bigger trouble, too. <laughs> but there was a lot of cute moments here, and, you know, Rerun is also, at times, very funny, you know, with all the lines he had to say, and everything that he knows about, and the way he does. I mean, <laughs> I mean, there's really something in him. Uh, but when he's actually um, wanted a dog for Christmas, I mean, he was desperate to have one to make him feel better. I mean, it, it was really cute to actually see him, you know, hanging around with Snoopy, and or sometimes, you know, hanging around with, with Spike. I mean, it definitely shows a lot of love and caring for them. But of course, <laughs> after a while, you know, they get they get tired of it and they just want to move on. Uh, there's actually a, um, some other uh, scenes in the special too. Like at the beginning, we see uh, Snoopy uh, riding with uh, Woodstock and his friends you know, on the the dog dish. You know, he's slaying around. You know, yeah, riding around like a sleigh. Yeah, for all these um, snow slopes here and there. You know, I, I thought that was really cool. That was at the beginning. And there's other scenes too. They're as, as memorable as it could be. Because um, after all, it's all a combination to, to Schultz's uh, strips. So it really works. And the animation um, in the special, I mean, seeing that this was done in digital ink and paint, I uh, actually captured it uh, very well, uh, almost closer to the the other previous specials that that were usually done on film and cell, you know, hand drawn. That almost captures the the spirit of of Schultz's um, you know drawings and writing and all. I mean. It takes a lot of uh, hard work to actually accomplish, but this really uh, helps it very well. So either way, um, well, it may not be right up there. Well, it's almost as close as being as special as um, a Charlie Brown Christmas, yet alone a Christmas time again Charlie Brown, which I would say it's an underrated Christmas special. But it's nice to know that at least you know they're, they're keeping up at pace. So, all in all, I, I really enjoy it, I, I love it, and it's always nice to see all the Peanuts game in the special, you know, you only get to see some of them appearing, and you get to see all, all of that blends in together in one way, so, of course, uh, we also learned that this was the second time we did got to see uh, Snoopy's uh, brothers too, besides Spike. We got to see Marbles, Olaf, and Andy. Um, so this was like the first time we get to see them since uh, Snoopy's reunion. But we didn't get to see Belle at all, which she appeared. Um, of course, um, this is probably the second time we actually got to see the special too, I forgot to mention that uh, after it's an Arbor Day Charlie Brown, that yes, I mean, we do see we run, you know, riding on his motor's bicycle. But we also saw that on the Charlie Brown Snoopy show as well. Yeah, David Benoist um, composing the special definitely gives it the Vince Gerardi feel right there. But you get the idea. And of course, we also hear the same line that's been said uh, for the seventh time as Charlie Brown always says why can't I have a normal dog like anybody else <laughs> and of course this is being the fourth uh, Christmas themed TV special I mean after a Charlie Brown Christmas it's Christmas time again Charlie Brown and Peanuts Christmas Tales which is just basically a combination of all Um, but oh no, um, they also then tend to throw in the, um, we also begin to experience that, you know, in, in, 
in the Christmas pageant, though, that originally it was Linus who goes around risking to uh, Lucy. But of course, they had to change it to rerun, so just so he could be able to memorize it. <laughs> I, I find it hard to believe that this they had to go for that change. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, I I would recommend watching this. I mean, if you love to watch all the other quality specials and and not just one, I mean, this is for you. So anyway, that's I wanted to offer Christmas Charlie Brown, and, and I give the special. Yeah, five stars. <laughs> Why not? I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.